It's another day. It's another color pop. Y'all, I am skipping out on new makeup releases to review this collection for you. So I really hope it's worth it. But I am so excited because ColourPop sent me Beauty and the Beast collection. And I want to know, is it actually worth it? So let's go ahead and dive right on in. Okay, so hopefully you guys don't mind my new review style. I just kind of like to dive right on in instead of just going on and on and on. With random fluff i'd rather just do that in the video so you guys can just listen to me talk regardless <laughs> so we're gonna dive right on in so the cool full collection is still available right now it does retail for 99 dollars. it seems like everything is still currently available i'll have all the price points listed at the bottom but we're gonna start off with the eyeshadow palette right here so it says take a waltz in the ballroom with 12 soft neutrals and shimmering golds inspired by Belle's dress and the classic disney film our ultra pigmented eyeshadow formula is a long lasting feels velvety and applies evenly and blends like a dream. This is a must for Disney fans. Create endless enchanting looks with matte, metallic, matte sparkle, and pearlescent glitter finishes. Now this actually does retail for $24. And I will say I absolutely love the outside packaging. I think it's really beautiful. It really just is the movie like captured in a palette form. I love, 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 love the outside packaging. And then when you open it up, this is how the palette is going to look. It's so beautiful. Ready? Beauty and the Beast. Immediately no. Immediately no. Immediately no. Like, like instantly, I was like, yeah, no. Did you guys know that your palette came with a musical score? <laughs> what? Listen, I know the soundtrack like it's the back of my hand. I literally live and breathe Beauty and the Beast. I love Beauty and the Beast. I think it's actually one of my mom's favorite movies. My personal favorite movie when I grew up, when, when I was growing up, was uh, The Little Mermaid. What was that? But then as I got older, it became Mulan. It became Emperor's New Groove. I still... And it became Hercules. I still vibe with like those three in particular, but like as a Disney princess, I've always been a Little Mermaid. That's always been my favorite. So, what the? When did this get on my? Oh my god! What the heck? Oh my god! Wait, hold up, hold up. When the hell did this get on my forehead? And from what did I touch something? Anyway, as I was saying, um, I really do love the Beauty and the Beast movie, but Little Mermaid still has my heart. And this is how the palette looks right here. I do think it's really beautiful. I really do think it does capture the essence of Beauty and the Beast, particularly that scene when they're dancing in the ballroom. This is just really captivating it right here. So we're going to go ahead and play with this palette. I did enjoy the live action version of this movie because I also really do love Emma Watson because aka she's Hermione Granger, but I've always loved the live action version of this. But there's something about the classic that just literally just still that I'm still really just like obsessed with. And Alan Meekin who did the score for The Beauty and the Beast, there's the transformation song when um and the beast dies essentially but then like she ends up saving him and she tells him that she loves him and last rose petal fell spoiler alert if you guys haven't seen this well i'm sorry to break your first bubble has been off for like 30 years um but like legit i uh was like got, i got so emotional on that scene because i was like oh my god this is so sad but then like <laughs> I'm gonna sound so shitty i'm gonna sound so shitty but then the scene comes where the beast starts to transform. I'm gonna go into the shade called the beast, surprisingly enough. He starts to transform into his human form. And there's this moment in the film and it, it happens in the live action and it happens in the classic, but like you see him come down from transforming into a human and he's the beast, right? And then like he stands up and he's like, <gasps> And he's like checking himself, but then he turns around and when he turns around, he, it's scary because he goes like this. Like at her and I'm like, oh my God, like, I'm sorry, but it's creepy looking and I was like, no, turn back around, turn back around. I never thought that the beast was an attractive as a male. I'm like, turn back into the beast. I loved you as the beast. Don't turn into the human. And even the live action, like I'm not trying to sound mean, but I did not think the actor who played was 
who I envisioned the beast to be. So even when he did the same thing, he turned around to that creepy ass face. I was still like, no, <laughs> turn back around. And I think it's all a TikTok. that someone made like a TikTok that said, um, if you look at like Belle's face, she had like the same face of like, oh no, <laughs> turn around, <laughs> turn around. Also, I know that no one asked for this, but um, today, is uh, April 19th. It's also AKA. Also Taylor Swift's Tortured Poet Department release. And have I been listening to all 31 songs? Oh yeah, I absolutely have. But there's one song in particular that really is just kind of like breaking my heart. And I'm happily married. Like I literally am happily married, but this song is called The Manuscript. And oh my God, it kind of has me up in my feelings a little bit. I'm just like, mm -hmm, Taylor. I'm happily married, but I'm about to go sit in the shower with it raining over me crying to this damn song because I could just understand the pain that she was going through in the song. I'm just like, this is so sad. It's a pretty shade. I'm gonna go into the shade called um, Ballroom Dance right here. I love color pops, like sparkling mattes or something about it that I just think is so freaking beautiful. They're just so pigmented, so pretty. We're gonna take that and start to just blend this right on top right here very lightly because it's just such a light shade that I knew it wasn't gonna give off much pigment to begin with. So that's why I'm not using it besides just to kind of blend out the edges. Now that we have that shade down, I'm gonna go into the shade called Inner Beast right here. Okay, so a lot of you guys did not know that I am working back at Disney. I am. And it's so funny because um, I'm not working in an area that has to do, I'm not working in an area that's affiliated with Beauty and the Beast, just so you guys know, but we do have like little like signs and stickers around our office. So there's actually like a clock on the wall that we call Lemire. And then, um, <laughs> we're like, oh, what time is it? We're like, I don't know, ask Lemire. Like we literally are just making like little references to Beauty and the Beast in there. It's actually kind of funny that this came out because of the fact that we were consistently making references to Beauty and the Beast. We have like little stickers to reference it. And my boss, she's a huge Beauty and the Beast fan too. And then I have like, I'm so irritated because this brush accidentally dipped a little bit into the blue. So that's where you see that kind of like dark mark right there. Ugh, I'm annoyed. Oh my God, there's so much fallout in this palette. I'm gonna go in the shade called Book Lover, which I am a huge book lover. My dream, my whole life was to always have a library like Belle from Beauty and the Beast. I wanted to have that library so bad. And I'm gonna have it one day. Like I'm gonna have a ladder that you can slide across open it up and just start reading like that is exactly what I want and I'm going to make sure that happens for me one day in life is to have a room dedicated to being a library now I've seen some really amazing stuff on TikTok or like Instagram how some people have their libraries decked out I'm like how did you do that <laughs> and where did you do that and how much did it cost you know what I mean because there's some of that some of those like libraries that these people have I'm just like I want that so badly. So now that's on, very, very pretty. I think it's a really pretty. I love mixing blue and yellow together. I think it's always such a pretty combination. I'm gonna do the other eye off camera and we're gonna come back to do the cheeks and the lips. But I will say this is a gorgeous, gorgeous palette. And I do wanna play with some of that darker blue, like the midnight sky with like the gold sparkles that are in it. But I think I wanna use that for underneath my eye to really kind of continue to play with this palette. But I've, so far, I do think this is really beautiful it just has a lot of fallout and a lot of kick up but i will say this really kind of does capture like it does it captures the scene of beauty and the beast really 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 nicely i'm surprised i'm surprised when i first saw it i was like eh. now that i'm playing with it i'm like damn it damn it it's good <laughs> okay so now the face is on for the most part we're going to move on to the other products so this collection also includes the enchanted rose this is a lip mask right here first off i do think this is really cute the little falling rose and this actually does retail for 12 dollars and this says nourish your pout with our leave on lip mask that locks in moisture and softens lips with the enchanting rose flavor oh my i am not a fan of anything rose scented but i do want to check this out so this is how the little mask looks super cute. A little cheesy. Like, it is a little cheesy. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Has that rose scent. I, I'm just really not a fan of rose scent. So, they do have this for $12. So, the Nexus collection also offers two different blushes. Now, these actually do retail for $14 a piece. And these say... 
Get a royal flush with our silky buildable blush in cool pink and warm brown shades inspired by Mama Sun Duo, Mrs. Pot and Chip. So first off, I will say the outside packaging is just super freaking cute. I do wish I would have like done a little bit different with packaging. Like they could have just had one as Mama and then one as Chip. That would have made more sense to me in terms of kind of telling them apart. So when I first got this, I was like, oh shit, I think they sent me two of the same blushes. But then all the names are different, but I was like, oh, I kind of just wish that one would have been like, you know, Mama, Chip. That just would have made more sense to me. But we have two different shades. So the first shade we have is the shade called Mrs. Potts. Ooh, this is going to be a really light pinky blush and then we also have the shade called chip which is going to be more of a warm brown shade for a blush right here now i don't think i'd ever really use this as a blush per se i think this is more like a bronzer on me so we're going to go in with the shade called mrs potts today um, I really love ColourPop's blush formula. Um, my favorite blush for the longest time was from the Desert Collection, and it was just called Desert. It was just called Desert. I absolutely loved, loved, loved that collection. I actually love that blush. And unfortunately, I, I think I do still have it, but I definitely have hit pan. It was just one of my favorite, favorite blushes. So we're just gonna lay this down. This is very, very, very light in pigment. Like almost a little too light for my skin tone it's buildable it's just very light pink maybe i'll tap a little bit into chip no that just looks like i'm adding more bronzer on the face i will say it is buildable coverage it's just very 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 light but to go into a highlighter we do have the um super shock highlighter called special guest right here it should have been called be our guest personally besides special guest but we do have the super shock highlighter and i will say i absolutely love ColourPop super shock highlighter formula it's freaking fantastic my favorite highlighter from them is the shade called flex Tyrion. oh my god it is so good so this right here it retails for 15 dollars, and it says be our guest with this bouncy luminous warm gold highlighter and a tie-dye finish inspired by bessie's cogsworth and lumiere by the way earlier i know i said that we put lumiere on a clock we don't have lumiere on a clock we have well there is a note there that says lumiere best friend that's what we have there that's why i got confused but we have cogsworth up there too it says cogsworth lumiere's best friend and a little lamp says lumiere we just got it confused i just got it confused for a minute but that's what i mean like we have a sign there that says lumiere's best friend okay so this is going to be the super shock highlighter right here let's go ahead and take this on a brush and let's try this out see how i like it it's so light like it has a really pretty formula just a very light cover just a very light coverage like when i swatched it it wasn't the best swatch but it is really pretty in the face it is definitely giving me a nice little glow on top of that barely existing blush that's there but it is pretty it is pretty not my favorite but it definitely is pretty okay so to finish off the end line i'm gonna go to finish off the waterline i'm gonna go into the shade called dinner invite i do want to let you guys know i did take the shade called west wing and i did put that along my upper waterline to help blend my false lashes with my real lashes all right so i'm gonna take that dinner invite this is another matte with sparkle and we're going to start to just press this along the waterline blend it out I'm gonna take the shade called Kind Hearted right here just to kind of blend that out just a little bit more. There's so much kick up in this pan, y'all. It's insane. There's just so much kick up. Okay, guys, so now I just went in with a light blue liner. Now I'm gonna go back in this palette one more time. I am gonna take the shade called Vivid Imagination to my inner corner and brow bone. I wanna let you guys know that this shade right here called Forbidden, this is gonna be a pressed glitter. Now, granted, they have reformulated, so they're not so bad. I still am just not a fan of the press glitters. I just kind of wish that they would get away with it because I love their shimmer formula way more than I do love their press glitters, but I don't make the palettes. So to finish it off, we do have two lip kits right here. We do have the um, Great Adventure and Break the Spell. So Break the Spell is going to be the, be the Beast lip kit. And then we do have the Great Adventure, which is going to be the Belle lip kit right here. Now this says, find your perfect lip combo with the Lux lipstick and ultra glossy lip duos in the cool pink and a warm brown hues inspired by Belle and the Beast. Now these actually do retail for $21 a piece. It's a little steep. So Belle's, hers is cute, but hers is going to be a cool pink. And you guys know that I'm just not a fan of um cool pinks there's something about it that i think it's pretty but like 
I don't know, I'm not really the biggest fan of it on me personally. So I think I'm gonna go into today because I feel like it'd be really pretty. I'm, I'm actually gonna go into the Beast one because the Beast is brown. And I think a brown lip would just be really pretty with this. So I'm actually gonna line my lips. I'm gonna take a brown lip liner. Um, I'm gonna go into the Jaclyn Cosmetics. This is the shade called Toasty. We're gonna line my lips with this. Now I'm gonna go into the Beast lipstick, which is gonna look like this. Okay, <laughs> it's darker than what I thought. Really pretty color. Just a little darker than what I expected. And now we're gonna go in with the Beast gloss right on top. So this is the final look. Alrighty guys, so this is the final look. I am not going to lie, I think it's really beautiful. <laughs> I really do think that this look is absolutely gorgeous. I love the way the eyes came out. I think the lip is really gorgeous. I do like the cheek and highlight moment. Like I'm kind of living for it. I'm kind of living for it. So I skipped my new makeup releases for this. Do I think it was worth it? Yes. Surprisingly, yes, I do. I think the palette is just absolutely gorgeous. It's more expensive than what I'm used to paying for in ColourPop because ColourPop has gotten more expensive over the years. It's $24, but for me, as someone who absolutely loves Disney, this is just gorgeous. I love the outside packaging. And you open the color store on the inside, the colors really do scream Beauty and the Beast. They definitely scream the ballroom dance, dance scene when it's when the ballroom dancing, when the song Beauty and the Beast comes on. And I just think it's absolutely gorgeous. The only thing I don't like about the palette is the amount of kick up in the pan. That is the amount of kick up in the pan. Like, oh my gosh, are these shades super like, whoo, pressed. Because like when I touch it in, like just literally just powder just goes everywhere. So you just need to be careful when playing with it because of how much kick up does come up. Not as much fall on the face though, but definitely in the pan, it's so much. But it's so easy to work with. The shadows blend it out very beautifully. The shimmers are really nice and I just really do enjoy it. Plus I think it's just very aesthetically pleasing. I think they did a great job with the Beauty and the Beast palette. Then we do have the two blushes right here. We have the Chip and we have Mrs. Potts. And I have to say these ones right here, as much as I love the ColourPop blush formulas, I don't think they're worth it. I think for me, the colors are kind of lackluster. I am wearing Mrs. Pot, which is going to be that light pink shade. That to me, it's not really showing up on my skin tone. Even though I'm trying to build it up, it just doesn't really want to show up. It's just a little bit too light. And then you have Chip, which is a little bit more of a warm brown. Again, I won't really be able to get a use out of it in terms of a blush. It'd be more of a bronzer for me. So while they're really pretty, I definitely think that for me, I probably could have skipped on purchasing these because I just feel like I need to get, I feel like the blush shades just didn't really complement any, did not complement my skin tone. And I feel like these are very kind of lackluster in pigment and I don't really know whose skin tone it's going to really complement, but it definitely wasn't mine. And I kind of just wish they would have switched the packaging just a little bit, had Mrs. Potts on one, Chip on the other. But other than that, the formula was beautiful. It's a beautiful formula, just not the right colors for me. Then we do have the um, special guest highlighter. I feel like the highlighter is really pretty. You know, when I first swatched it, I was kind of like, eh, I'm not the biggest fan, but like when looking on the face now, it does have that beautiful shiny glow. That is exactly how the ColourPop Super Shock highlighter formulas are. Like I said, Flexitarian is my absolute favorite. This to me is definitely more of a warm golden shade. When I look at it in person, I can see different color reflex in it too. I can see a little bit of that, of that purple reflect, a little bit of that gold and orange reflect in here, and a little bit of a yellow reflect. It's very gorgeous. I feel I feel like this would be super, super, super beautiful and deeper skin tone, but it is a very gorgeous shade and I am actually happy with this one. Next, we have the two lip kits. We have the Belle lip kit and we have the Beauty and the Beast lip kit. For me, I think the Beast one is just where it's at. Like if you like a really light pinky shade, you'll like the cool tone pink Belle is gonna be for you. But for me personally, I love this lip combo right here. I think it's gorgeous. Like this to me really complements the eye look. I feel like it really does fit the theme of Beauty and the Beast. So if I had to tell you to choose one, I picked the Beast over Belle, but again, it's up to your personal preference, but the formula is really nice. The, the, the gloss feels incredible, very high shine, non-sticky, has a pleasant scent. I'm actually surprised by this. And then lastly, we do have an Enchanted Rose. This is going to be the lip mask. For me personally, I would skip on this just because I don't like the scent of roses. I really do enjoy ColourPop lip mask. There are Honey one I enjoyed, the Apple from the Snow White collection I enjoyed. I think the Alice in Wonderland had one as well. I like their lip mask. I just don't like the scent of roses. If there's something about it that just really kind of bothers me, so I would skip on this 
personally. Now, overall, I will say I do think this is a really beautiful collection. You can get the full thing for 99, but I will say I do think they dropped the ball when it came to producing a mirror. We all know the iconic scene where she's like, show me the beast. And she gets to see the beast. She gets to see where he's at. He gets to check on her. I just feel like the mirror was so iconic throughout the whole movie. And I just wish they would have produced a mirror for this collection. They did not sadly, but Overall, I actually am pleasantly surprised that I do like it as much because I wasn't sure how I felt about it based upon seeing it online, but getting it in person, I really do enjoy it. Now, do you need the whole thing? Absolutely not. If you are just a big Disney fan and you want to have something from this collection, then I highly recommend just picking up the palette more than anything else because this to me is going to give you everything you're looking for in terms of a Beauty and Beast collection is this right here. So freaking beautiful. So... ColourPop, uh, thank you guys so much for sending this my way. I had no idea that you guys were going to. I do not have a code with ColourPop. I know so many guys always say, oh, where's your code? Or I used your code. I, I don't have one. <laughs> but thank you for thinking that I do. I wish I did. But this collection is available as of right now. Everything says it's currently still in stock. It says it's selling fast. So I'll make sure I link it down below. But yeah, guys, that is it for my review on the ColourPop. Beauty and Mommy. So you guys are probably like, bitch, shut up. <laughs> but if you guys like this video, please make sure you guys give this video a cheeky thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys have not already. So I did post three to four videos every single week. Make sure you guys head over to my other channels, R for the Life. You guys get to see my cool, wonderful adventures, my amazing husband, Corey. And as always, the biggest thank you goes to these beautiful, wonderful page members you guys see right here. Thank you guys so much for everything. And to my subscribers and viewers, thank you guys so much for being here. Whether you guys like this video, you guys thumbs down this video, you guys subscribed, you guys did not subscribe either way thank you guys so much for being here i love and appreciate each and every single one of you so with that said guys i love you and i'll see you guys on my very next video